Hello makers, I'm Joe and as you know I'm constantly trying to delve into Fusion 360 to learn something new and this week well I wanted to do some anamorphic text. Anamorphic text being well this. It doesn't look like much like this but if you put it like this you see the word different. If you turn it around 90 degrees you see the word perspective and I, I saw a few models of this and I absolutely love them and I wanted to do my own because I wanted to do a few twists to it. So I jumped onto Fusion 360, uh, figured out how to do it, printed it on my Mark III. Uh, it took me about half an hour of support removal, but the result actually turned out really, really cool. And now initially I thought these were called optical illusions, but they're not because optical illusion is when your mind plays tricks on what your eye is seeing. It's also not called an ambigram, which is someone suggested. An ambigram is where you have a word where you twist it upside down. It still shows the same exact word. So today I figured I'm going to show you guys how I did this and maybe you can come up with your own. There is an easy way and a hard way to do this. I'm going to show you the easy way. The harder way, well, it looks at perspective and that's a whole other story. So we start off from, um, plain sheet. We're going to go on the front pane here and we're going to create um, a sketch. Then we're going to create some text. Click on that and we're going to type in different. We're going to set the height to 20 millimeters. We're going to set it to bold and we're also going to flip it 180 degrees. Click OK. Then I'm going to finish sketch and then I'm going to extrude all those words outwards. Just long enough for me to fit another word on the side. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to create another sketch. I'm going to create it right on the very uh, right hand part of the text here. So I'm going to go on there. Then I'm going to create text. I'm not going to go on that point here because then it becomes a bit difficult and complicated to move it around. So I'm just going to move a little bit here and I'm going to type in perspective. Same thing. I'm going to add the height of 20. I'm going to set it to bold. Now, if you notice, there's a bit of bottom spacing and it's further up to the top. So I'm just going to slowly move it down to pretty much cover both areas. That's good enough. I'm going to click OK. Next, what I'm going to do is click on the text there. I'm going to select extrude and I'm going to move it back through the other text. Once it goes all the way through, I'm going to change the operation to intersect because basically all I want is the uh, parts of the text that intersect each other, nothing else. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, if I go on the right here, it says perspective. And if I go on the front, it says different. But it's quite large, lots of pieces there, which I don't need. So what I do next is go to the top view. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm just going to draw a line from here to here. And then I'm just going to close those off. I'm going, to same th I'm going to do the same thing here from there. I'm going to go to the edge of this one. And I'm going to close that off as well. I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to select those two designs I did. I'm going to extrude. And I'm going to cut through all of the bodies. I'm going to click OK. As you can see, there's much less left now, but still, if I go on the front, you see different. If I go on the side, you see perspective. So now it's time to clean it up and leave the least amount of letters possible. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all these uh, parts which are suspended in midair. So I'm going to select one, hit V to hide them. Uh, I'm going to go on this one, this one. There's a few small parts here. Okay, so basically I lost all those tiny little parts that were floating everywhere. Um, as you can still see, it still says different perspective. Now it's time to clean it up. Um, in cases like this, for example, so if I look at it this way, you can see that this covers the whole letter E. If I go here, it still covers the letter, the letter T. I don't need this here because I have the other letter behind it. So if I cover this and also cover that, as you can still see, it still says perspective. Turn it around, still says different. So I just have to move all these little parts are out of the way. Um, in this case, for example, this N has to stay there because it's the one letter that represents the I, even though that represents the N. 
Next, what I like to do is remove the ones which are a bit more complex to print. Um, so I can possibly remove, so this I don't need, and this I don't need either. I think I'm gonna remove this. Definitely can remove this. We can definitely remove this and this. And actually we can also, can also remove this. So there you have it. That's pretty much all that's left. If I go on the front, I see different. Go on the right, I see perspective. Now there are ways to sort of still play around with this. So for example, um, actually, you know what? I can actually remove this as well. There you have it, much cleaner. So as I was saying, there are still ways to clean this up. So for example, this N here, you don't really need all of it. You just need the letter I. So you can possibly draw a line and cut that body in two from that line along that line and just remove this. So you just have the I, which would also work. And then at the same time, since you have that I over there, you can also remove these two pillars here for the N, uh, which you don't need because you'd have that line over there. So anyway, you can make it a bit, you can make it a bit more interesting. Now that that is there, what I want is a base for all of them. So I'm going to create a sketch one more time. I'm going to create a three point rectangle uh, just to cover there. So now I'm just going to finish sketch, extrude, grab that, go down five millimeters and is joined all together. Then you can play around making it neater with some chamfers all along the edges. It'll be much, much cleaner. So once that was done, I decided I want to pay tribute to an awesome team on YouTube. They have a channel called Yes Theory. Some of you might be aware of them. They are these awesome guys who, well, treat life as it should be treated. Get outside your comfort zone, do something new every day um, and enjoy life. Part of my sick discomfort is this channel. Um, and I wanted to pay tribute to that by doing this, which says seek discomfort. And I posted this on Twitter and Instagram and it kind of went viral. The fans of Yes Theory, the community absolutely loved it. So then they actually reached out to me, um, left me completely speechless because they absolutely loved it and they wanted a few of these. So I said, uh, let me make a special one for you. In comes this. This is printed in multiple parts. Uh, you have the base, which is dual color. Um, the words, as you can see, they're extremely clean. That's because they're printed separately in the right orientation without supports and then they can be attached with some glue. And apart from that, these were done in perspective mode um, where what you do is in Fusion 360, rather than just extrude the text, you do a large format of the text on one end, 50 centimeters away, you do a smaller version of the text and then you loft it, basically giving you the view that you would in real life. As you all know, we don't see straight, we see at an angle, at a perspective. And that's how it should be designed, especially if you have a long word to do. Um, you want it so that when you look at it head on, you, you don't see kind of like the inner edges of the, uh, of the text, but you just see the text outline itself. So I'm printing a couple of these, I'm sending the these off to the S Theory guys. They're absolutely awesome and I'm more than happy to oblige. Apart from that, I tried to experiment a bit more with some other models. I did the smiley face where you look at it from one angle, it's a smiley face. Uh, you turn it around and it says smile. It was printed on the Prusa SL1. And they also tried doing this square with a frowny face and a happy face um, on, on each side. Basically, I can turn this around and let people know what mood I'm in uh, as soon as they come into the office. That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I do suggest you seek your discomfort in whatever you do in your everyday life. Uh, I do suggest you check out Yes Theory and their awesome videos. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys.